Hi, I'm Mark Feldman, Senior Staff Engineer with Qualcomm Technologies. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the Qualcomm Adreno GPU, the graphics processor integrated within the Qualcomm Snapdragon processors that power a large portion of today's most popular smartphones, tablets, or other mobile devices. Adreno is the brand name we give to the GPU, one element of the Snapdragon processor. Let's first start with Snapdragon. Qualcomm Snapdragon processors were designed from the ground up specifically for mobile devices. We call these processors SOCs, short for System on a Chip, because they have integrated operational engines and feature sets. Qualcomm Technologies is able to take advantage of this integrated system to optimize for low power usage required in mobile. Therefore, Snapdragon provides the power for a great user experience but in an efficient manner to avoid excessive battery drain. Qualcomm is a leader in mobile technologies. You'll find Snapdragon processors in a large portion of mobile tablets and smartphones, from entry level to high end and from a wide range of OEMs worldwide. Snapdragon processors include the central processing unit or CPUs to do computation and also the GPU that we're talking about today. The Snapdragon SoC may include other technologies such as the modems for LTE and other wireless components such as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, a digital signal processor DSP for audio processing such as surround sound and low power voice activation, multimedia engines for ultra high definition 4K video, dual ISPs for high resolution technologies like cameras, display processing and localization features like GPS and other sensors. Now the GPU is primarily used for graphics rendering such as when a game or a user interface is displayed. The GPU can also be used for composition, combining video, images, and graphics into a final frame. We've designed the GPU to support the most advanced mobile APIs, application programming interfaces, and also to have great performance and efficiency necessary for the mobile environment, which is limited bandwidth, power, and thermal constraints. Our latest, most advanced GPU shipping is the Qualcomm Adreno 430, integrated into our Snapdragon 810 processors. With some of the newer features supported in the graphics APIs, like OpenCL or OpenGL's compute shaders in the OpenGL 3.1 Android extension pack, the GPU can actually do general purpose computing, also called GP, GPU. Over the past seven years, the Adreno GPU has advanced many generations, greatly increasing the graphics processing it can achieve. These advances have been made by hardware design with smaller fabrication sizes, increased clock speeds, improved caching, and improved bus speeds between the GPU and memory. The Adreno GPU comes in several architectural levels, 200, 300, and 400, and each architecture has several variations as well. These Adreno architectures are designed to support increasingly complex APIs such as OpenGL ES, OpenCL, RenderScript, and DirectX. For example, the top-of-the-line shipping Adreno GPU, the Adreno 430, supports OpenGL 3.1 and the Android extension pack, including advanced APIs to support compute shaders, geometry shaders, hardware tessellation, stream out from the vertex domain, and geometry shaders, as well as advanced ASTC texturing, higher level anseotropic texture filtering, and improved raster operations. The Adreno 430 also supports the full profile OpenCL, RenderScript, and DirectX 11 with feature set 11.2. There are many architectural features of the Adreno GPU, but three that I want to highlight today. They are the unified shader architecture, the tile-based rendering, and early Z depth rejection features. We'll cover these in more detail in future videos. The Adreno 400 series GPU have a single optimized shader architecture that handles vertex, fragment, compute, dynamic hardware tessellation, and geometry shaders via a unified shader architecture, providing more flexibility to handle varying graphics demands. Tile-based rendering. Adreno GPUs render the frame by breaking the frame into tiles which are processed by the GPU using low-latency, high-performing, localized memory. 
This is much more optimized and bandwidth friendly, which is designed to minimize unnecessary data traffic to host memory and also minimize power consumption. Early Z depth rejection feature. Now, Adreno GPUs are designed to be efficient and reject pixels, which are occluded by previously drawn objects. We've designed this feature to increase overall graphics performance for large, complex scenes with opaque geometry. As long as the geometry is drawn in order from the front of the camera to the back, this depth culling happens automatically and efficiently. So hopefully you know a little bit more about the Adreno GPU and how it's an integral component in our Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Thanks for watching. Visit the Qualcomm Developer Network to learn more about graphics and tools on Qualcomm's mobile hardware.